drop a like in the next three seconds or else you have explosive diarrhea for the rest of the week. I wouldn't risk it. Yo, what's good everyone? In this video, I'm be showing you guys the best ISO build in NBA 2K21. Best point guard build, best everything. No build comes close to this build. You're obviously gonna go with the point guard if you wanna ISO, no point of going any other build. Right left hand, I'm just making left handed for this video. Any number jersey, doesn't matter. Doesn't affect your build at all. And we're obviously gonna go with this pie chart. I mean, there's literally no other pie chart you should go with if you're gonna make this build. Most people are probably gonna go speed pie chart. With this pie chart, I'm gonna go speed because your ice swing, it's not like you're gonna dunk it all. You can upgrade your layup to a 70 if you want to get long athlete. I don't think you should do it. Close shot doesn't matter, it's infected. So we're just gonna leave finishing for now. Max out all this. And we'll come back to pulse free later. Is max your defense? Because you can actually get 10 defensive badges on this build, which is pretty insane. So you're just gonna go as high as you can without putting it to 10. So we'll make your interior defense 46. Alright. Max this out. Make it until it's 24. Until it's 25. You got three attributes left. Might as well get a 60 close shot. So in uh, you're gonna get 49. You're gonna get 59 badges, which is insane. Hold up. I think I made a little mistake. It's a little down right. Wow, that helped actually. That's six more up badge upgrades from that. Let me see this. Alright, that's not worth it. Yeah, hold up. Alright, right there. Uh, driving layup. Now I'm upgrading my close shot. I said close shot's better. So just make sure your badge upgrades are like this. And yeah. So you're gonna go in body shape. I like going with a smaller body shape because it looks a lot cleaner when you're dribbling instead of like something like uh, Burly, which looks more stiff. Mo uh, so I, you normally go with compact, but because this uh, build's gonna be minimum weight, I'm gonna go with Define because uh, it hurts your skin you later. You can go 6'4 if you really want to. I'm gonna go 6'3. And another thing is, you can actually make this build in 6'5 now if you want. But. That's for the 80 ball handle. I still wouldn't do that because you lose like speed and stuff. So 170. You're gonna get a 91 three point which is insane. Hold up. If I do this, do I still get the 91 three pointer? That's actually good. And I can speed boost. Yeah, that's actually really good. You can get these, you take, playmaking can take kind of use. Pointless, useless, shock rate take pretty good. I'ma say sharp shooting take sharp shooting take is really overpowered. And there you have it guys, very simple name. It's gonna be called a playmaking shock creator. One of the most common builds in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Or actually I can uh um do uh little let me just uh, show you guys badges you can get can lock a lot of badges. You want finishing? I'd probably go slithery because slithery is actually a really good badge if you want to avoid contact when you're coming to the rim. Obviously, you're gonna have range, green machine, hot zone. You don't need dead eye really high this year. Last year was the only thing. Uh, you Hall of Fame. The rest of the badges you can choose whatever. Bronze flexible is actually better than Hall of Fame flexibles because uh, it gives you a bigger white window so you'll hit more whites from it and that's the point of the badge uh you can get catch and shoot because you have so many badges why not put on difficult shots can you put in some volume shooter maybe you can like put whatever you want tireless score corner specialist even clutch shooter clutch shooter is a good badge and yeah uh that's for this playmaking badges main three badges one two and three you don't need this on thing. I could put this on gold. Maybe get some space creator. Uh, you can get floor general, 
diamond and I got one badge, I might as well get bronze billow just to get those little billow passes. Defensive badge is without a doubt intimidator. Without a doubt clamps. This is the one where you get to choose if you wanna uh, if you're gonna run twos, you mainly probably choose pick dodger to get around the screens. Three is probably pickpocket for the fast break. You can also go interceptor if you wanna get passing lanes. For me I run twos mainly so I'm gonna go uh the pick dodger. And I probably put on an interceptor to get in the passing lane because I don't really reach on twos because most people on twos ISO. So yeah, uh, if this video gets to five likes, I'll make a jump shot video in my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.